Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So I saw a part of an interview, somebody sent me a clip of uh, everybody's favorite nerd, Zuckerberg, from Meta, uh, aka Facebook. So he's on Rogan, and he's saying that by 2025, they think they're going to have an AI that's good enough to replace mid-level developers. So that's an interesting point of conversation. So let's just jump into it. So I'll give you the bullet points the bullet points, and then I'll go into my conversations because I know some people got to go play Call of Duty. So, mid-2025 or 2025, Zuckerberg believes that the mid-level developers, well, at least they will have an AI that can do it. He says it's very expensive right now. I guess the CPU cycles. So it's gonna, they're going to have to ramp it up, but it's coming. I noticed playing with GPT and, and Grok, I noticed that Grok is much faster. I think Elon's new... Uh, AI uh, supercomputers there uh, is running pretty good. Is running pretty good. Anyway, so here, here's the irony. Back to coders replacing, back to AI replacing coders. The irony is that the type of development that these AI coders are going to replace at first are development in larger companies, larger organizations, because they have the economies of scale and so forth. They will roll out with smaller, medium to smaller companies afterwards. The irony, number one, the algorithm guys and the data structures guys, the two things I say don't waste your time on, I've been saying this for years, they're, that type of developer is going to be replaced first because I can see AI being able to work on these little finite pieces of uh, code much more easily. The next uh, type of developer that will be uh, replaced are the React people. The React people. Why? Because React is uh, for large, medium-sized type of development companies. The people who are going to be safe for a while are the freelancers, the small business website developers, the people working on older, the, the WordPress stuff, the Drupal stuff. There's some big Drupal nodes today. I'm recording this January 15th. The vast majority of work out there is going to be safe from total replacement uh, from AI for foreseeable future because of the nature of the work. Again, when you are doing your typical freelance gig, you're doing typical work for small business, you have, a, you have to have a range of skill. You have to, you have to be a little bit more uh, balanced. So if you had been listening to me uh, for the last many years and you had gone into that kind of development, you'd be, you'd be uh, uh, sipping your beer and your wine and feeling okay. So yeah, why do I say that freelance is safe? Because freelance requires a range of skills. When you're freelancing, you got to know how to code. Well, not necessarily. It helps to know how to code, but you should know how to code. And it's the web, of course, mostly web. So HTML5, CSS3, uh, a little JavaScript, PHP. You probably get into WordPress at some point, maybe some Drupal. You have to have a range of skills. You got to know how to create domains, register, and get the hosting up and running, choosing the right type of hosting. Said being able to set up basic e-commerce for people, knowing which type of e do you use Stripe, do you use PayPal, do you go with some sort of uh, smaller processor like a Moneris or something? Uh, these are all questions that the freelance developer will be able. No, well, not questions. These are all things that the freelance developer are going to have to do for clients. Um, also being able to set up a social strategy, SEO. These are all extremely valuable skill sets. And uh, AI is not going to replace that anytime, not anytime soon. Well, AI will be able to speed up the process. But for example, when you go see a client, let's say you have a client who, um, I don't know, they're a plumber and they want to get more plumbing gigs. And they come to you and say, well, we want to put up a website. We want to get more plug plumbing gigs. What are they going to do? They're going to have to figure out a site, the style of the site, what functionality do, do, we want, do they want to provide? Do, do they want to provide a booking engine uh, for their plumbing business so people can come in, book stuff? Are they going to set up the, their Google business profile? Are they going to set up a social media presence on Facebook or Instagram perhaps? Do they understand SEO, not just in terms of their own website, but also in terms of their social media? You know, you had a target. So if you're a plumber, for example, you want to, you don't care if somebody, if you, if you live in New York City, if you're a New York City plumber, 
I don't think you care if somebody from China or uh, the UK knows about your plumbing business, right? It's not relevant to you. So you have to be able to geo-target, geographically target prospective uh, clients. At the end of the day, again, things I've been teaching for many years, you, for many years now are still 100% relevant. You still need to have your fundamentals. You still need to know what you are doing as a developer. That's why I teach the fundamentals. Um, again, I've said this before, and I've seen this before. Uh, I've seen it's, it's more of a shift. Yes, certain types of development will go away. So, for example, back in the uh, 90s, when the web became a thing, um, thick client VB6 Windows development disappeared. And all those jobs where people were deploying uh, VB6 apps onto networks, those jobs all disappeared as well. This is just, it's just a shift. It's just a shift. Again, I, uh, I say go, uh, go generalist. Just cleaning my lens here. Go generalist with um, your coding skills, your development skills, and you will be fine. You will be fine. So that's pretty much it. I wouldn't be too concerned. Uh, well, I'd be concerned maybe if you're a mid-level engineer, you want to get a React job. You want to work for one of the fangs. I think they call them the mag seven now. Fangs are Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. They will be replaced in certain jobs, but as Zuckerberg said, it's a very expensive proposition to have all this code written. I would say going forward, um, if you are an enterprise level developer, just start embracing uh, web technology, uh, excuse me, AI technology, start embracing AI technology, Make sure that uh, you understand how to best implement that for uh, in what you do. This is going to be very important to you. And if maybe you want to go freelance or maybe you want to start your own SaaS business, trust me, there's going to be years and years and years of work of just working on legacy apps. In fact, I just got an email from a company and they support specifically legacy Java apps, Java Swing, even applets. They have a business supporting a 20-year-old technology, 25-year-old technology, which is amazing to me. So they have a whole business based on that. And AI is not going to go in there and place any of that. All those WordPress sites, all those Joomla sites, all those Drupal sites, they are being replaced by AI. It's so much out there, so much out there. So, But learn the AI. Understand what it can do, what it can do for you. Don't get caught up in the, um, the fear, the fear cycle that AI is going to replace everything. But just keep expanding your skill set and uh, watch this channel. I will give you more and more uh, business tips because I'm one of the, uh, I think I'm one of the few YouTuber influence out there, influencer or coder guys out there who, uh, who actually brought, who, have brought, who has brought multiple products to market and has seen the changes since the 90s, and I've navigated. So the AI is just yet another evolution in the whole thing, a shifting of what we do as developers. Again, back in the day, uh, developers used to do, for example, in early 90s, as I said, thick client apps with VB6, right? Or everything was delivered on CD-ROM. There's a whole business of development based on developing apps for CD-ROMs and DVDs, right? So you get your app and you put it in your disk drive and you play a game or it's an educational game. Uh, Kevin O'Leary, that famous guy from Canada, that's how he made his money initially, by delivering software on CDs and DVDs. That business is now, it's gone, it's totally gone. Even I, I built uh, apps for, um, I built apps for Big Pharma uh, specifically for delivery on DVD. And uh, who did I work? It was either Merck or Avantis. I forget who it was. Anyway, I worked for both uh, as a contractor. So whatever, the, I, that, that job, that type of development is gone. Boo! So a new type of development, a whole bunch of new stuff replaced it. So I was never concerned. You just got to rock and roll with the times. I hope you found this useful. I'm Uncle Steph. I mentor people in the ways of software development and careers. And I got a new mentoring program coming out. This is January 15th. Hopefully very soon. It's on uh, business, strictly on the business end, delivering uh, SaaS 
businesses. This is more for people who are interested in the business end of things rather than the pure coding end of things. So it's a different program. Uh, I decided to separate them out because people are learning how to code or they want to get a job as a developer. It's a different demographic, a different person than who's already a developer, for, for example, and they want to start a SaaS business or people who just want to start a business. I'm also going to cover personal finance and a whole bunch of other things that are very important in terms of career and uh, quality of life. All right, cheers. I just want to quickly mention something uh, as I was just recording this I caught this, Elon Musk, everybody's second favorite nerd, our most hated nerd. Anyway, he just wrote this on X a few minutes ago. If you are a hardcore software engineer and want to build everything, the everything app, please join us by sending your best work at code at x.com. We don't care where you went to school or even whether you went to school or what big name company you worked at. Just show us your code. So, uh, yeah, it seems that even now... Coding isn't dead. Let me get rid of this here. So Zuckerberg is saying by 2025, the mid-levels are gone. Elon Musk just posted a, a job posting uh, for now in 2025. So you can't lose your kittens. You can't go crazy when you hear certain news. Just roll with the punches or roll with the punch. Again, concentrate on your fundamentals. I'll call, although this Elon quote here, let me grab it again. This Elon code here says, we don't care where you went to school or even whether you went to school or what big name company you work at. Just show us your code, right? Just show us your code. Reinforcing the point I've been making for years, build a portfolio, go out there, write code, build real projects. That's how you advance your career. Anyway, I hope this is helpful for you. Uh, don't lose, don't lose it. You'll be fine. Just keep working towards your goals. You got to be it's got like a fight. You got to be uh, responsive to the opponent in front of you. You got to shift and move as I did back in the day. Remember, when I started coding, uh, VB6 was huge. Developing apps for Windows, thick client apps for Windows was huge. And then the web started coming. And then like at one point, Java Swing was pretty big within the Java community. Uh, applets are actually dominant in the Java world at one point, believe it or not. You probably don't even know what applets are. Nobody else does either, but uh, it was at one time. Anyway, that's it. Cheers. We'll do some thumbnails. Mm -hmm.